there's going low. And there's what Eric Axley is doing Wednesday during the second round of the PGA Tour Champions Q School final stage. Starting on the back nine on the Champions course at TPC Scottsdale, Axley eagled the par 5 tenth hole. Nice start. He then went birdie 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 to get to 8 under through 6 holes. Axley finally cooled off with pars on the par 5 17th and par for 18th. Still, he made the turn in 28 and was officially on 59 watch. Once I eagled number 10, it seemed like the birdies weren't much more than tap-ins, Axley said. I think I had it inside 3 feet on each of my first 8 holes, except the par 3 16th. There, I had 192 yards and hit it to 6 feet, but still made it. So, everything just felt really comfortable down that stretch of holes. The 28 TIs the low 9-hole score on the PGA Tour Champions in 2023. He then parred nose, 10 and 11 but a disastrous quadruple 7 on the par 3 third hole, his 12th of the day, did some damage to his scorecard. He would later birdie nose. 5, 6 and 7 to post a 7 under 64 and walk off the course tied for 6. He ended the day in a tie for 7th. I hit a weird tee shot on number 3 that ended up in a bad spot, he said. I couldn't get it on the green from where I was, so I ended up having a bogey putt from 20 feet. I ran that by 3 feet, then ran it by 3 feet coming back. So, that was a 4 putt. It was like getting punched in the stomach when you aren't prepared for it. But I did bounce back somewhat with three more straight birdies on five, six, and seven. So, that helped. Axley, 49, has won win the 2006 Valero Texas Open in 209 starts on the PGA Tour and $3.2 million in career earnings. He doesn't turn 50 until April 22 next year, but is vying for one of five tour cards being handed out this week for the 2024 season. West Short, JRB, shot a 63 on Wednesday and sits at 12 under, alone in first at the halfway mark. He had seven birdies and an eagle. Daniel Chopra, Shane Birch and Cameron Percy are tied for second at 11 under. Alan McLean is solo fifth at 10 under. Other notables include Dick Mast, the last golfer in the field at age 72, beat his age by shooting an even par 71. Scottsdale's Brian Hoops, the lone amateur in the field, tied for 12th after scores of 64 to 72. And former major league pitcher John Smoltz is last. He followed his first round 80 with a 76. He is 14 over.